got the hits. We got the gist. This is Lagos number one lifestyle station. City 1051 FM. So let's go back in time. Okay. So DRB celebrated 10 years last year. Yeah. Yeah. As a group. Now did um so professionally did DRB as a group start 10 years ago or you guys started individually 10 years ago? Came together. I think we started doing music 10 years ago. That's really as a group. Uh, group. Did you start before 10 years ago? No, as in, like, obviously, TZ them already were like DRB. That's how, like, that's how it started. Yes. Basically, 10 years Tobias. ago. Yes, with yeah. Tobias, Tobena, mm-hmm. a lot of people. Mm-hmm. And originally it was TZ, Fresh, mm-hmm. Benzo, mm-hmm. and Bias. Yeah. And um, yeah. Mm-hmm. But you were not a part of the group 10 years ago, but. No. When did you join the group? Maybe nine years ago. Nine years ago, mm-hmm. maybe or nine. Yeah, years yeah, ago. about then, yeah. About then. Like I was always there, definitely. I think you produced the first song. No. Or you were Vi- when the video of the first song, mm-hmm. or you. Were okay, yeah, I did, I did that actually. Yeah, that's yeah, true. You, you produced. I forgot. See, I see. I even know your history. Yeah. So, <laughs> see. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So but that was actually the first song. But that was like the, the official. First. Yeah, 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 yes. yeah, yeah. Yeah, you were there. Yeah. yeah. He's on the song, so I wasn't on the song. But he's on the I was song. on the song, yeah. That was the first time I like sounded. Sounded. Yeah. Okay. So individually, uh, as artists outside DRB, yeah. you've all been pursuing like different like, your careers. Yeah. See, so you've not been doing that a lot as mm-hmm. much as Bond and maybe Fresh. I think Bond yeah. is like what. What's up with you as a solo artist? Um, I was because coming up in the game, I was always more of like the one doing a lot of the behind the scenes stuff. Mm-hmm. I always wanted to do like you know. Both, a bit of both, like kind of like how I, mean, I guess you can say like Don Jazzy or like yeah. Buck Daddy, that type of vibe. Okay. So it was always to support my brothers. When the time was right, I was dropping music. So obviously I was the brand ambassador for Jameson for uh, two, two, years, two, two and a half years. So while I was concentrating on that, um, obviously Boy dropped his album. So it was just to collaborate and help each other in different ways while we were still pushing whether it was board music, fresh air music, or whether it was a random DRB song. So mm. we just so our, all our focuses were aligned on different things, but still for the same goal. Yeah. Still for the same goal. So like, that's how like we got like James saying like to be back in us, to get like to be part of the whole movement. Yeah. Know? So yeah. We are going to talk about the movement in a bit, mm-hmm. but before we talk about the movement, so TZ, are you trying to say that whether or not you're doing music, whether or not you're dropping like official singles and everything, you're always doing something as regards music when it comes to DRB. Hundred percent. I mean, 100%. even throughout, like these are also apart from us being DRB, these are my best friends. So when I'm not recording, when Bodge was recording his album, I was with him the whole time. Was selecting songs, saying, "Oh, do you like this one? Do you get?" So we're always working together, mm. even if I wasn't recording on the records, okay. or even if we're even recording, but we just didn't release it. But okay. we're always working on stuff, so we never actually stopped working together. Okay, so now outside song. the music, outside the DRB as a group, mm. you all are like genuine best friends. Yeah. So it's not like, oh, we're just trying to record to make music and to make money, yeah, and um, so there's like genuine love outside the music when yeah, we do not see you doing stuff together you guys are still together yeah, yeah, yeah. genuinely yeah all the time we travel together <laughs> okay. we play football together oh, wow. <laughs> we record okay. together yeah so we actually do everything together okay. Yeah. okay so musical groups in nigeria music groups in nigeria um we always see a lot of drama mm-hmm. you know like the entertainment industry music industry is very dramatic mm-hmm. something is always happening something is always trending mm-hmm. and when it comes to music groups um, we cannot say that some most of them actually always end up breaking up right mm-hmm. now in nigeria we cannot say we have one solid you know group that's been together for a long time and just still standing yeah wait now and it's still standing yeah. no wait i'm not done with my question so much <laughs> Aside yeah. DRB, okay. now 10 years. Mm-hmm. But you know why we might not say DRB? Because you guys don't drop music like every time, like every year. But the you group not was very still cont- standing. But we mm-hmm. can't say. The group was probably still standing as, a, as maybe a friendship. You guys are still together and everything. But when it comes to music, we can't say DRB for that music last year, two years ago, three years ago, four years ago. But the thing is, because you, you can't you, you, you can even say years. DRB. <laughs> you, can't, you can't say DRB put out because it was all still under the DRB. DRB. Yeah. Everything you did, yes, yeah, individually, album. yes. Yeah. So your album, the one you did with Ajebota, the collaborate, the it's still DRB. Mm-hmm. It's still okay. DRB because it just is, man. 
and his partner. <laughs> so you see it like this. Like, let me let me give you a good yeah. example. Yeah. So do. let's say, for instance, um, uh, them, Ken, Kendrick. them Kendrick okay. Lamar or like Young Money. Yeah. Okay. So Young Money has Drake, Nicki Minaj, yeah. uh, Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. They do Young Money projects. Okay. And when they do individually, Young Money because they're still a part of it. Young Money is still a part of it. Yeah. Yes. So exactly. what people and the confusion people have with DRB is people thought it was a group like a boy band, band. but we were actually this is not a boy band. No, no. Okay. <laughs> we're actually individual artists. We're just like the two of our first songs that were bigger than anything else were were group songs. Okay. So obviously after that, Bozina dropped on my pastor, Feel mm-hmm. Alright. Then people were getting their own lane. You know, Fresh now did Firewood. Yeah. Bo dropped his album, but all those things we still it was all DRB where we worked together on all the freshest mm-hmm. project. We all worked together on it. Yeah. Budge's album, we all work together on it, you get so mm-hmm. it's, a, it's always been maybe we didn't drop group music because we're working on individual projects, you yes. Did, you know, his album took did it like in less than a year, but like mm-hmm. 11 months, we had to concentrate on Bodge. this is Budge's project mm-hmm. because we're what all together, mm-hmm. exactly. So, so when Fresher wants to do something, same thing, yeah. which he did yeah. last year, yes. So, 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 so okay. Okay. I mean, our messaging wasn't very clear, so because we're not, we're not gonna start saying, "Oh yeah, we're not broken up, we're still mm-hmm. together." People didn't really understand, but behind the scenes, just like, like <laughs> when, 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 when last you hear like a YMCMV, like how many YMCMV songs were there? Like, yeah, but so that's that's more of the structure. We was. can all for YMCMV, we can always tell that they're still together. Maybe if you see Nicki Minaj, maybe we we'll join an interview. She's always gonna make reference to Drake, mm-hmm. or Drake is always gonna make reference to Lil Wayne. Okay, so was, when when Nicki Minaj also. dropped her album. Mm-hmm. Newman was very vocal about it. Mm-hmm. Even when she had the issue with Cardi B, mm-hmm. she kept on saying she's the best, she's the mm-hmm. best, and still on, you know. So we, mm-hmm. for a minute, you can't even doubt them. That's them how it together. was with us as well. But if you are following, you get, if you are following us, so. then you know that it's the same thing. Well, I see you you see that party. whatever, whatever video, even down to just videos. Even yes, when I'm yeah, featuring, yeah, 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 yeah. if I'm featuring in a video, you see Tizzy yeah, there. Yeah, is getting Tizzy. Exactly. Tizzy is on the song. That's yes, why. yes, yes. How about Fresh? I was in the video. No, fresh yeah, wasn't, wasn't, uh, was in Nigeria. No, no, that's <laughs> one. But I, I, when the album call, like, it's always been yeah. with social media. That one was on point because yeah. it's not a competition. We're all it's for the same goal yeah, for yes. the brand to be bigger. Yeah. So we're bigger. always pushing each other's stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess the public perception is that oh, they're, they're not together. Bodge has free them. Bodge has free them. Yeah, Bodge has free them. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Don't know Bodge has blown. He's not getting more. We're still yeah. in the studio doing everything yeah. together. Getting input, everything. Okay. So, in 2019, are you going to go out of your way to? Uh, do songs to, to collaborate, to do more DRB songs, and to you know prove to people that you know, not necessarily prove, but to you know, show your fans that DRB is still very much intact. In Hundred percent. So are we going to get more? Hundred percent. Because projects? I mean, right now is just the time when they're really catching on to the wave, really and truly, mm-hmm. that we've been doing since. You guess. Okay, we're going to talk about that in a minute. Yeah. So it's just like everybody's catching on to it now. So now it's literally like God is saying. You know what, you guys, this is the time for you guys to start ginger and mm-hmm. trust me. Is, is it God actually said, or you guys supposed to say, body like, hmm, fresh air? First of all, God, you're Wake up. <laughs> See, they are used to sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are taking this stuff. <laughs> okay, so let's check out DRB Necessary featuring or Dressing. When we come back, we're going to talk about the wave, talk yes. about Ulti Movement and the youngins in the Ulti Movement. Necessary, if you want to join the conversation, don't forget to hit me up 0700 or you can leave a message on social media at city1051. I am having a conversation with the Melody. We got the hits, we got the gist. This is Lagos number one lifestyle station, City 1051 FM. Okay, <laughs> okay so let's talk about the Alter movement. First thing, people, some people refer to it as Alter. Mm-hmm. Don't call it Alter. I think it's this it? guy's fault because I, mean, I told them Sha, that the, mm-hmm. you see the accents on the thing. <laughs> eh, that thing. Eh, it's facing front like this. Okay. When I told them that it's meant to be the other way. Oh. It's supposed to be under. Under? But in French, Sha, in French. Okay. I don't know why I thought about it like that. But it's meant to be the other way. To the left. Eh, <laughs> to the left, to the it's left. It's meant to be leaning back. Okay. Leaning back. Uh-huh. But. Put it See, they put it in the right. Yeah, that's just the general <laughs> consensus. That's how I'll be right. That's yes, and everybody else apart from me thinks that that's right. <laughs> so what's the correct pronunciation? Let's just get it right. Is it Alter? Alter. 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 Yeah. Alter. So if you're listening, it says Alter, it's not Alter. Okay. Mm-hmm. You never say Alter. Okay. <laughs> I only answer that. Let's so right. talk about um, <clears throat> being referred to as the pioneers of the Alter, Alter, right? Mm. The Alter movement that is Bodge, CZ, and Freshell. Mm. Right. Okay. Do you sometimes feel like, okay, before, why? 
Why are you looking at me? 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 Why are you you get like a like a normal argument, mm-hmm. which is normal. It's okay, like you know, conversation get it. I'm no, sorry, man. You guys misunderstood. The entire vibe. You guys misunderstood, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. guys. So no problem. Anytime I Thank see you, you around now, I'm Love just gonna normally. say hi. Thank you. Probably if you mm-hmm. respond to it, well, I'll yeah. say hi. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> back to the conversation. Do you sometimes feel like you know when we talk about um, Afro pop in Nigeria, we always give credit to some people or Afro beats will be ex. Give credit to some people for making you know that particular genre more popular. From Louis the band, before mm-hmm. you know, tell him thank you for mm-hmm. collaborating with Snoop Dogg and probably you know letting this be more mm-hmm. sound be more popular. Then we go to Whiskey, sometimes David O. Mm-hmm. You know, do you sometimes feel like as pioneers of all time, you do not get as much credit um, as you should? I feel like because um, when for they, us, yeah, for us, I, I don't feel like that's what we're going after. We're mm-hmm. not going after credit or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Us, our piece just to like inspire and let people just do what they want to do. Mm-hmm. Basically, mm-hmm. we're not looking for we're not looking for credit. You don't care about it. No. Did that? No. What do you think about it? Keep their walls in the streets. Do you get it? Like yeah. honestly, like that's not why we're doing this. Like it's not for credit. It's not for just credit. to elevate the whole movement, Community. the mm-hmm. whole exactly. people that want to do their things in a different way. Okay. That's yeah. it. Okay. You know, in Nigeria, some uh, people are really obsessed with this respect thing and credit thing, and be like, yeah. "Oh, I was here before you." How dare you just come? That's just a, that's a cultural thing. I yes, think. as I said, Nigeria. Yeah. Like so, so uh, when you have these youngins pushing, really pushing these old tech, in making the sound more popular, mm-hmm. you know, they say them something. Do they recognize person? Santi is one of the pioneers as well. Yeah. Santi is. Oh. Yeah, Santi is not. Uh, us, so yeah, but. Oh, it's people like Odunsi, Donny, those, yeah, those guys are like young, 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 actual young kids. Santa been here for like yeah. 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 Been out here, yeah. yeah. Wow. Been out here, ginger. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. we can also say he's one of the pioneers. Yes, yeah. yeah. exactly. 100%. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, Santi was someone that even took on Odunsi, like yeah. my little bro. Like, mm-hmm. wow. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Santi, um, LOS, Zamira. You know what I'm saying? GMQ, Genio, okay. all these guys, we've all been here mm-hmm. from Just time to time. Yeah. Okay. So it's never really been about ownership. But I like why the pioneers thing is just because I feel like maybe we're the ones who at first put it in the limelight. Yeah. Okay. As, as um, you know, we're the ones that put it in the limelight. So okay. that's why people refer to you. People refer to it okay. as that. And you know, we've we never. We gave me the word. Yeah, we did it together to be honest. Yeah. Oh wait, wait, wait. So wow, I, I didn't this know that. This that I don't like because yeah, this I one. Eh, wait, no, let's let's. Do do it, I don't gauge. Yeah, the people. I'm take sorry. Yeah, I'm going to say it though, but after this conversation. <laughs> We got the hits. We got the gist. This is Lagos' number one lifestyle station, City One Zero Five One FM. You can still call me up zero seven zero zero one zero five one one zero five one or leave a message on Twitter at City One Zero Five One. I have Bodge and Tizzy with me. Now, Tizzy, you, you spoke mm. about a Bodge. Tizzy doesn't want me to ask this question, but we're going to do you guys. Okay, so Bodge made reference to the fact that Tizzy coined the name. Okay. Yeah, I feel like okay. there was already there was something or there or there. Alternative. No. Okay. Authentic. Mm-hmm. Authentic. Should be or there before. Okay, listen. That's that flavor song. Mm-hmm. Or there. There's one song, Sha. No, <laughs> there, there's a way Igbo people say or there or something. Or there, or for authentic. Mm-hmm. Okay. Anyway, that's the only way we we we'd heard it before. Okay. And then. These guys who are always coming up, TZ, TZ. is the one that comes up with most of the, like the slangs that we use <laughs> and stuff. TZ. Okay. Okay. So I must have heard them say it at some point. Yes, and it meant alternative, alternative. for for us. Okay. Because I used it in reference to him, because Budge's style was always very, very different. Exactly. Back there, so, so, so we like, always had that word alternative, anyway. Yeah, yes, alternative awesome. has always, always been a thing. Alter, yeah. alter. So yeah, like in like a song song, in yeah. paper. Mm-hmm. Cause this is the old body and all that guy da 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 da. Mm-hmm. So in the song paper in 2014, and I said it, the lady, the line, the current of the old guy. So, Cz coined the word all Let's just let's just say it. Yes. Mm-hmm. 
Yes, he did. He did. Okay. He so did. The word. Yes. Are you trying to be humble? No, because it's because people it's, just always get people catch feelings over all these things these days. Like even saying pioneers, even though we didn't say because people acknowledge us as that. People get offended thing. when we, when Pe- you people say people get offended over anything nowadays. Do you understand? Okay. So. But- but we've heard like in your community, like your tech community, mm-hmm. you guys are really cool, you all support each other. Yeah, of so course. do you think anyone sometimes feel like they shouldn't refer to you as pioneers or do they catch feelings in your community? I mean, not really. Because not the people who are leading the, the wave there, like I mean the other the guys coming up, the scientists or just like they know what's up. I don't see if I shouted out shouted us out in several interviews, okay. magazine articles, whatever. And it's even on our song as well. It's on our song, so you know. I mean those who know know, but it's not really something that you can't force it on anyone. Yeah, so just and that's not what we're trying to do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. So do you need like a do you, how do you sign up to be a part of the <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> yeah, nah, there's no signing up now. Just being I yourself, know, being natural. Be original. Yeah. Being yeah, original, I swear. That's yeah. that was actually the birth of the whole thing. Yeah. Just being original. So now that Alter as a community as a sound is getting so much recognition, like it's crazy. And I think in Nigeria, it is really, it is really refreshing to see that the community is being uh, championed mm. that way without Godfatherism being mm-hmm. in the mix. Like exactly. this is just pure talent, exactly. it's just pure creativity. Yep. And <clears throat> I always say on my show that the, the most exciting part of this movement or this community for me is it is how intentional they are mm-hmm. about the sound, mm-hmm. the visuals, mm-hmm. the behind the scenes. You can yep. see that they pay attention to every tiny yep. detail. Yes. I had a conversation with Lady Dolly too. Mm-hmm. And she was even of the opinion that you know we have people who, if you want to design this, person say, "Well, I can do that." It's like the community has everyone that yeah, can do something exactly, for you. Exactly. So if you need this, you don't have to go out of your community. There's yeah, always someone exactly. in that community that can make it happen. So for we you. all support each support other. Support each other. And that's why it's growing. 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 How do you guys that feel? Organic. Yes, about the organic growth of the hotel movement mm-hmm. and now it being sold internationally. Mm-hmm. How do you feel? Yeah, man. Amazing, man. Amazing. Really yeah. good times. Really interesting times for the Nigerian music industry. industry. So, yeah, man. And if you think of we're just trying to show them like the world what is coming out of oh, Africa, out of Nigeria, out of Lagos, mm. get out of Ghana, Accra, everywhere, just to show like mm. this is what it is. We're not trying to like sell it to them or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. We're just trying to show them show look, look at what we're doing. Yeah. Minimal, minimal budget, minimal, minimal budget, yeah, minimal support, yes. minimal backing. So everything no, is in no organic. like huge cosign. We don't yeah. have anybody like do you get any record like, label. Like, exactly. Do you yeah. Get what I mean? Yeah. Okay. It's a madness. Yeah, it is actually madness. Now let's talk about Afro B for a minute. You know how people constantly give credit to Fella for, you know, um, creating Afro yeah. He pioneered Afro and making it popular, mm-hmm. you know, selling it to the world. And it's like a Nigerian thing. We know Afro is for Nigeria. Mm-hmm. So even if you, as uh, yeah, even if as a, as an artist not in Nigeria, you maybe use the sound or something. We just know that it is for us. Mm-hmm. Can we also say the same about the Ote? I think I had a conversation with you the last time about it being a genre. Yeah. Is it ever going to be that? I feel like, well, well they're, they, that's, they're trying to make it like. I think. The genre true. is. is. Can we make it a genre like Afrobeat? Like, I'm uh, asking you the department. Right? <laughs> <laughs> the problem with making it a genre is mm-hmm. that it boxes people. Yes. And the whole thing about being out there is you not being able to be boxed or put into one situation. That's why, do whatever. for example, Wavy the Creators, her first song was Shaku, which was a house song. Yeah. Okay. Her new single, Body Deep, is like a hip-hop song. Okay. Do you understand what I mean? Mm-hmm. She's Alter. She's Alter. She's Alter, yeah, she's alter she's but the, 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 the uh-huh. music is like, mm-hmm. the, you know what's his house? It's yeah. hip-hop. It's R&B. Okay. It's okay. Even down to like, we use Bodge for an example. Let's not go too fast. Like, Bodge, Awolo is like, that's a knocking, that's like a hip hop record. Yeah. Afro pop. Yeah. But I will know if you hear the beats, that's you know, do you get it's so a hip hop beat. Exactly. Okay. It is. Okay. Necessary is is almost trap, yeah. but it's all time because it's us that are doing it. So that's why it's like the bloodlines. But the world is trying to make it like a a genre. You don't want it to be a genre. Psst, I'm not pressed, I don't yeah, want it. Yeah, man. It's not like, it's not like <laughs> I mean, it can be whatever. It's yeah. all now, about perception at the end of the day. Do you know why I feel like, you know, Tizzy just said, well, I don't know, if someone wants me to drama, I don't care. Mm-hmm. Do you get? Mm-hmm. But imagine a regular person who is not even part of the movement, mm-hmm. someone who is not even a part of the community, a regular guy, maybe, take for example, Melody. So mm-hmm. I come tomorrow, maybe I have connections here, I have connections there. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I'm like, oh, so I'm from Nigeria. 
and maybe I get to a, con a conversation outside Nigeria. I'm like, oh, so we have this thing in Nigeria called Alter, it's mm -hmm. a movement or a community, and yeah. they listen to this song, like, oh my god, this is really nice. Mm -hmm. And they say, let's make it a genre of music. And because I know some people somewhere mm -hmm. that you probably don't know, mm -hmm. we'll make it a genre of music. Don't you feel like, who is this person but the thing doing is, it when we should have, we are the pioneers? We yeah, but that's what I'm saying. If you take the music out to, to someone in America now, if you play them or do something, mm -hmm. they'll say, oh, okay, man, this is RB. That's what I'm telling you. They won't even refer to it as over there. Yes, they won't. It is to them. Oh, it's not oh. alternative. It's okay. R&B. It's R&B. <laughs> but like you said, it's like you. What was a good thing you said is that because it's from Nigeria eh, and because they need to monetize that situation yes. that's yes. coming out, it only makes sense for them to make it a genre. Yeah. Yes. So, so shouldn't you be the ones having that kind of conversation? I mean, those conversations are taking yeah. place already. Trust people, me. Have, Apple have done this. The Apple, Trust Spotify, me, like, there's all their yeah. playlists. Everything yeah. has already happened. So. Okay. You know, well, at least you know it's good to be at the forefront of that. People coming into the industry, they know we're working on a documentary right now, working on a DRB documentary as well. Okay. So we'll be able to explain. Tell the story. Mm -hmm. And storytelling is the most important part, not really the ownership of what What's, is what is it? Yes, yeah, yes. Because then it becomes uh, elitist and godfatherist. Mm -hmm. If, trying to if do we that. do that, mm -hmm. oh, okay, so, I think I agree with you on that one. Then. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about the documentary about the um, shoot. Watch, watch shows, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you're going to tell us the author's story. Now, one of the major problems we have in Nigeria is we are not very good at documenting our stuff. Terrible. When it comes to our history, mm -hmm. you go through Google, mm -hmm. and you know when oh, someone else is not even a part of the story trying to tell your story, mm -hmm. so definitely took this, took that. Mm -hmm. So the documentary, you're going to take us back in time and tell us how everything started, right? Yep. Yeah. Right. So everything is going to be documented. Yeah, mm -hmm. very detailed. Very detailed. Very detailed. Yeah. Spoke to everybody. Like, mm -hmm. it's really, it's really, really dope. When is that dropping? By God's grace, by the end of summer, we're just praying and hoping uh, that that's like late August, late early August. September. Yeah, September. it's going to be mad and big. Like this like thing, party, and like this, like this, 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 this whole altar thing is, is is about to be really, really huge. Like mm -hmm. when, in Nigeria, I feel so. It, not even in Nigeria, Nigeria. I'm talking yeah. about whole, it's because of what's going to happen that in fact Nigerians will now start. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> watch. Yeah. Oh man. Okay, so we've always had conversations like on social media, like uh, oh, so this alter movement is very elitist. They don't, they don't, they're very selective about the people to talk to, they're very selective of this, selective of that, they're very into this movement. I, I've yeah. had that conversation. I've heard that before too. I've had that conversation when we're not here, mm -hmm. you know. For the weirdest reasons, when we have such conversations at work, they always expect me to say something. Because, mm -hmm. I don't know. But the point, no, 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 no. Because <laughs> no, 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 no. you get it. Because yeah, you get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. See, I mean, see, I mean, because there's always one championing me there. Mm -hmm. But I, I'm also of the opinion that author can be very anything. Yeah, that's so And bad. it can be very, some of the artists, who belong to that community can be very condescending. Really? You reckon? Very. You reckon? Can you give an example? example. Just give no, an example. You're supposed to mention names on air. Oh no, you don't have to mention the names. No, mention I mean, the situation. when the situation, so when you go for, when you attend these events, for the most time, you know, you know such mm -hmm. events, and you see, oh, a random person trying to walk up to this person, maybe one of your altered artists, and, mm -hmm. and he has this demeanor. He has like an attitude, like, hi. Like, I don't know, they always have this urge, like, I don't know, this air around them. Yeah, I think it's a huge misconception. Yeah, man, honestly. And you guys are not very inclusive, yeah. That's not, not very We put everything we online. Excluded, we were excluded, though. We were excluded from everything we, we put it in, we, we put everything. Yours. We put it, exactly. No, I feel like you guys are not doing the things the other people did to you that made you create content. Well, no, we're not actually doing that. We're just so. doing what we're doing, yeah. honestly. Mm -hmm. Honestly, anybody and can come for the event. No, we're not selective. selective. We put it online for everybody Everybody's to see. To but you've had because we've, 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 we've had times where we go to the radio stations and beg them and... Do, 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 and not, like Beg them? Yes. yes, like you trust me, you go there, they don't care, and they're okay, we're like, okay, there, okay, so. okay, okay, cool, we're, we're going to go online and just do it how it is, and then it's, it's and growing, it's growing, it's growing, and then now some, 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 some radio stations will be mad when you're doing a show mm -hmm. and you don't come, and, and you don't come and um, tell them to be sponsored mm -hmm. okay. on the show, or so that I can put them on the flyer or things yeah. like that, they're not getting upset, okay. when there are times when we go there and they're like, oh. I also think it's something that the Ni Ni Nigerians as a community, eh, like, as soon as we don't understand something, instead of trying to understand the reasoning behind it, first thing we do is just like condemn it. Condemn yeah. it, and I feel like that's what happens with the all testing. First of all, it's not elitist at all because are you anybody, hundred percent sure, hundred percent sure, sure. Most of the artists, like, most of anybody. the artists are not even like rich or anything. Like, no, no, that's not true. That's very I'm true. I'm telling you. Okay, very so true. now another argument when, so when it comes to that, exactly. when they come, from, when they come, when they have that this conversation, they're usually saying stuff like the artists, you know, that belong to the alter movements. Most of them are privileged kids. Not true. <laughs> not true. No, no. You meet some. You, you meet some. But you are though. Why? Why do you think so? 
But I've read about you. I know. I know. No, what, no, what, what do you know? Because I went to school in Jan. Do you know how hard my parents are exactly, to get me there? Exactly. My that's what they, very hard. Exactly. That's what you guys don't even yes. get. David, those dad is rich. Exactly. Billionaire. Exactly. Copy's dad is rich. My parents are not hard billionaires. working. Still yeah. working every day. But of their life. my parents are not billionaires. Freshers. Okay. Freshers' no. parents are not billionaires. But they're really okay. They're, they're, they're hard working, working people. Legit. You, you can't compare working. your parents to maybe parents. I thought especially some other artists, but I'm yeah. saying like the street kids who are the yeah. most. But, but you don't know my parents. Our struggles are different as well. But I'm sure that at no point in your life did you not know have money to pay for studio sessions. For oh, studio sessions, we just got our studio three months ago. The did, first you, did, you, did you ever have to struggle to pay for? Yes. What? Did you ever have to struggle to feed? I, I, no. What do you mean to feed? Okay, like obviously. You can't compare your story to the street. You can't. The street okay. You can't. You can't. No, but you're right. That's, what, you that's what you're doing. I'm not comparing. No, I'm not trying no, to compare. I am, no, I am the one saying that. I uh, think mm-hmm. you're privileged. Then you're saying you're not. Uh, no, no. I'm not. I'm not saying that we're priv- we're not privileged. I don't even agree okay. with that. No, he doesn't agree. No, 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 no. Yes, I do. Like, you, 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 no, I don't agree. In comparison, in, but it's in comparison. In comparison, exactly. I'm just saying on Since a basis. Since I never bed hungry. Yes. Are you joking? Come on, what man. You, you guys, even when guys were ah. in school, guy, man, I was always broke. You know, always. School like, where? Mention. In England. Okay, good. It doesn't matter. That okay, is, that okay. Is Wait, you see, can you see? Okay, so can you see? Yeah, that's actually not fair. But that's the truth. In England. Because, so, so what? So you think people are not struggling in England? Do you know how I? I, I had to get there. Did you pay for your fees in England? How yes. do you know you didn't go scholarship? How do you know we didn't have scholarship? You guys don't know. You guys That's don't know. Okay, so okay. Honestly. Honestly. When you're in Lagos, Honestly. where do you where do, where do you come in Lagos? Bagada. Yeah. I live in Ikoi. You don't think you're paying I pay my own rent. I work yeah. hard. Your parents, your parents, your parents. My parents live in Ikoi and they work Good. on the mainland. I grew up on the mainland. I just moved. See, my parents live on the mainland <laughs> as well. I live so, by myself in Bagada as well. Do you understand? But like, it wasn't yes. I pay for my house like? Do you get what I'm saying? It's like we all like struggle. And that's the thing. Sure. That's the, that's what Nigerians they want to dumb it down because yeah. they feel like your it's privilege. It's not really struggle. Because Fela came okay. from the most privileged background yep. yes, in yep. the history of Nigeria. Yes. Yep. But they're okay with it. Do you understand? You know. You know when we see Fela, Fela is not as he's not he's not he's not as dressed as. As dressed. You know, they say that I dress like I'm booty. homeless. I can't even believe that people even think that me. I mean, wait, let's. Yeah. Uh, wait, wait. For last dress is not as bougie as both of you. You have pink. Look, they say you dress homeless. I know that one. Uh-huh. I see it on Twitter. Uh-huh. And all of that. Fella had you know, okay, so because of, because my, my trouser is pink now, I have money. Nigerians just need to go and study. Wait, so wait, but you've seen that with the why you dressing like? Do you? How do you dress? I don't. Okay, so when I like the way I dress. <laughs> I dress the way I dress because I like the way I dress. Final question for Rob <laughs> has been an interview. So, people constantly say Ote, the uh, um, uh, part, people who are part of the Ote movement, mm-hmm. the people who recognize the movement, who are a part of it, they dress homeless, mm-hmm. they dress tattered, they wear mm-hmm. sexy sneakers, mm-hmm. they always look dirty. Mm-hmm. But yes, we're still elite and have yeah, to It's just like, <laughs> it's so, it's so how do you it's feel about when you see such comments? Because I've never seen you respond to such comments. It never doesn't yeah. matter. Because How do you it's, feel it's when you good. Like everybody's going to say that you everybody agree, had a, to that I look homeless. That not you, like alter generally. Like, I don't people. agree. People just don't. Mm, they just like, and I feel like online people are saying things for jokes. Yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah, it's yeah. funny. It's funny. So we laugh. <laughs> it's funny. Like it's okay, funny. because we know what you're doing. You're trying to say this to be funny. It's, yeah. it's so obvious when you see something that is constructive mm-hmm. and something that is trying that's to be funny for cloud, and it's funny, and we laugh about it honestly. Everybody, all you guys that people think that. People are getting mad about these things. There are only yeah, certain no. people that get mad, like fresh. <laughs> but like other most I people don't. Ah, that would have been that would have been wild. Like, it's, just a, it's a huge misconception about the other thing. But that's what the documentary is all about: yeah, is to man. break those misconceptions so people can understand better. Because yeah, I think Nigerians are very close-minded and we're very shallow-minded when it comes to things we don't know enough about. Mm-hmm. So instead of learning about it, we just want to condemn it or not a part of it. So they're elitist. Mm-hmm. But no one has ever said. These people cannot Trans- come for this show. Yeah, or should, we're trying to invite everybody. We want it to grow so we can be as big as your daily dos and your whiskeys. That. That's the whole plan. So any any pressure to 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 do Afro pop? Um, to, not really. Like some some of our songs are like yeah. Afro pop. Like but any pressure to be like pop artists? No, no. We, do, we just do like. How yeah, you're okay, you get like pop stars, people who like do like pop music in Nigeria, they're looking for money, but you're not looking for money. Nah, it's just, nah, nah, nah. Just, you're just oh. okay. Nah, okay, nah, so, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> dear me, in 2019, nah. you're going to have a documentary. You said more singles coming from your camp. Any album? What's your roadmap for this 2019 um, as, a, as a group? Okay, yeah. we have the DRB, um, mm-hmm. Pioneers EP coming. Mm-hmm. Okay, EP, okay. Yeah. 
as a group. As a group, then a documentary. As a documentary. Okay. Or show in December. Yeah, show in December. Mm -hmm. Okay. So did you have plans to do any solo project? I'm going to hear more from you. Uh, I just want to keep doing the nah. underdog stuff. Yeah, just, I'm working, so don't worry. You see a lot of everything I'm doing. I'm the one that's executive producing the documentary, so okay. you know I'm working on a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. Once there's time to do a solo project, trust me, you find out about that on a mm -hmm. high scale. So mm -hmm. high right scale. now we're working on DRB's project, Body's project's coming soon too. Mm -hmm. uh, songs too. Fresh is working on that, so we have everything planned out. Everything planned out. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for coming through DRB. We're going to have yes, a conversation sir. after your documentary. Of course. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Necessary DRB. Oh, before I round it up, mm -hmm. somebody made mention of the chorus of necessary. Oh, necessary. Whether legally or illegally. No, no, no. Is that, is that you supposed to say that? Well, it's not like are nobody. You, are you advising people to make no. money illegally? What? No. It's a statement. It's it's money is necessary. Yeah. Whether it's legal or illegal. I think that's wrong, though. Mm. Money, that's we, right. Don't you need money, so right? I don't need money, but okay. That's so why it's just to show, to show you that, that some people. No, 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 it's just to show. Let's you know what? You can't, but let me say something here. Yeah. It's just <laughs> like. <laughs> no, no, no. Since you said she's going to do Because I can't remember. So necessary uh -huh. is the power you said. Um, all are necessary, yeah. whether yeah. or legal. We're just trying to show you that, look, there are people doing legal stuff making money. And there are people doing illegal stuff making which money. Which is fine. That's all we're saying. And you're saying which is fine. That, that, that's what happens. Is that's it what happens. To make what money saying, illegally? We're not saying it's fine. I'm but we're saying fine. I don't think it's fine. Do you think it's fine, Sylvia? See, because I understand. Sylvia, yes or no? Do you think it's fine to make money I don't, illegally? I don't, I don't, when I don't we say bother, illegally, I'm saying like Because cyber that's crime. what our country is based off. So we can't say, like, the people that are arresting people that are doing this thing, them too, everybody's doing it. So that's yeah. how Nigeria is. There's no structure, so you can do what you want. So that's essentially what we're saying. Also, <laughs> and just if you want to do it legally, oh yeah, that's your own way. If you can do it legally, it's better for you. But money is necessary to survive. That's just the basics of the song. Man. Straight up. Okay, so if it's Drake singing it, nobody has a problem with it. But as soon as it's. Since it's so you're pro illegal way of making money. <laughs> you're hilarious. You're such a good yeah. interviewer. Of course, I'm not pro. I just want to find out. Thank you so much, Yari, for coming <laughs> through. Necessary. We got the hits, we got the gist. This is Lagos' number one lifestyle station, City 1051 FM.